Welcome to this module of recall MCQs of 2022. In the anesthesia section, in the recent examination pattern, unfortunately, we have only few questions this year. So I thought I will discuss these questions so that it will give you an insight of how we have to look at the things. Right. And these questions are, you know, most of them, I don't say they have been from the same material which I have taught you because my material is also not mine. I have copied it from the standard textbooks. So what I will say is uh, most of them are pretty straightforward question with slight with, you know, minimal ambiguity. So, so the first question, arrange the following anesthetic agents on the basis of their potency. Now, this question that have been asked, so basing on the potency that we have been constantly discussing in our various classes, that potency of an inhalational anesthetic agent is determined by, potency is determined by MAC. What do you mean by MAC? Minimum alveolar concentrations. So if you know what is the minimum alveolar concentration, the definition of minimum alveolar concentration is the minimum amount of drug that is required to produce immobility in 50% of individuals is known as MAC. If an agent is having high MAC, potency is inversely proportional to MAC. If an agent is having high MAC, that means it is least potent. If an agent is having low MAC, that means it is more potent. Now, out of all these A options that have been given, so I have been telling you constantly, I have provided you a tabular column of various MACs of the agent, right? So, out of all these agents, we have told you that methoxyflurane, methoxyflurane is the agent which has got least MAC. That means it is more potent, whereas nitrous oxide has got more MAC. That it is least potent. So, if you arrange according to the potency, so this nitrous oxide greater than halothane, the first one is option is ruled out. The D option is also ruled out because it is isoflurane is here. The E option is also ruled out because nitrous oxide is between. So, we are left with only two options which you have to choose. I have kept it three or four of variables. I don't know what they have exactly asked. But here the point is not the question. Here the point is what is the concept which we have to understand. So here there can be methoxyflurane which is the having least mag that is more potent. Nitrous oxide which is having high potent. Now if you go back and see I have given you this chart. Very important chart in your notes. If you go and see. So the methoxyflurane. So you can see here mag of nitrous oxide is 104. I said you to remember the newer agents. The newer agents has a MAC value halothane 0.75, isoflurane 1.28, desflurane is a maximum 6.6 .6 or 6, sevoflurane 2.04 and methoxyflurane 0.2. So, this is the MAC values of different substances. So, if you arrange it, the answer is in front of you. Methoxyflurane is the first one followed by halothane, isoflurane, desflurane halothane isoflurane and nitrous oxide so you can see here the values halothane is 0 0.75 isoflurane is 1.28 so methoxyflurane is 0 0.2 the methoxyflurane value is around 0 0.2 then halothane value is around 0 0.75 then nitrous oxide is 104 right whereas isoflurane it is somewhere between 1.2 Right. So potency. So there are five things I said you to remember in inhalational anesthetic topic. The first concept is MAC. The second one is concentration effect. The third one is second gas effect. The fourth one is blood gas solubility ratio. The fifth one is diffusion hypoxia. The same way if they want to ask you another related question, they might ask you about the blood gas solubility of the agent. B by G solubility of the agent. If a agent, I quickly revise this one. So if a agent has got a high B by G value, that means it is more soluble. If a agent is more soluble in the blood, that means the induction is delayed. Induction is delayed. So already we discussed this topic. So I just quickly want to add on this topic for you. This was the question that was asked in your entrance examination. Shall we move to the next question? Yes. Which of the following local anesthetic causes hypertension? I said you all local anesthetics are vasodilators except cocaine. It's just almost a straightforward MCQ. Right. This cocaine, when you have taken a lot of cocaine, I told you that the patient will complain of hypertension, tachycardia and coronary vasospasm. 
सो दिस कोकेन हैज गॉट माइल्ड वैसो कंस्टिक्टार प्रॉपर्टीज और इट्स ए मोर नॉट माइल्ड इट्स ए मोर पोटेंट वैसो कंस्टिक्टार मोर पोटेंट वैसो कंस्टिक्टार Out of newer agents, what we are using, ropivacaine has got mild. Ropivacaine has got mild vasoconstrictor property. Again, this we have discussed in our notes. You can be seeing in your notes that I have been discussed it. Cocaine, cocaine should not be given intravenously. Also, the same thing has been almost straightforward question that have been given in your entrance examination. 